Hi folks, John Cordisco here. Round 11, the last round of the U.S. Chess Championship 2015 being played in the beautiful St. Louis Chess Club and Scholastic Center. This is between the tournament leader and my buddy, Carl Nakamura as white against Alexander Anishuk as black. If a Carl draws this, there'll be a tiebreak game. He needs to win this game because Ray Robson won his 11th round game against Timur Garyev. So let's see how Carl does. going to be a two nights. Pawn, Bishop, Knight, Pawn up, Blocks, Knight, Knight takes. Bishop c5, bishop e3. This is very interesting. These four knights can get real tricky with all those minor pieces in the middle of the board. Castles for Carl, or excuse me, Anishuk. Carl takes on c6, pawn takes, bishop takes, knight takes, bishop takes, rook b8. Now here we are. We're on move 11. It's basically an even game. Castles, rook takes, that's the last book move according to the computer. Queen takes d5, queen takes, bishop takes, rook takes c2. Okay, there was a lot of action going on there, not much going on now though. Tiny advantage for white. Pawn's a little screwy for white, we'll see how a Caro does. Of course the two pawns on black's queen side are also isolated. Knight to e3, got to get the knight out. Rook to e2. Rook a to c1, he's hitting the knight. The knight moves. Rook takes. Bishop e6. Bishop e3. This looks very drawn. a5. Rook a7, he's going after the pawn. The bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes. Knight c4, now this is interesting. I think Carl might be able to win that. Pawn on a5 from, from black. They'll give him a pass here on the outside. Rook to b5, he's trying to hold on to it. Rook to b1. Knight to c5. Finally the knight takes. Rook e8. Now, of course, as you can see, black can take this now. Because after knight takes, rook takes, rook can't take because of mate. Forcing a Carl to waste a tempo on g3 and g6. The same black's got the same problem. And then b4. Still protecting the pawn. Knight to d3. Knight c6. Rook to e2. Looks like black's closing in on that f pawn. Rook to d7, hitting the knight. And this is something that we all do, folks. Anishuk blunders. And blunders fairly badly. It's not a real complicated series of moves, but unfortunately he missed it and plays knight takes. F2. Now we all can see that if he takes rook takes, rook takes knight, wins the piece. He plays knight takes F2. And that's horrible. It's almost a three point advantage now for white. We'll see the sequence here. Knight hits both rooks. If he goes okay, I'll just check. King to H1. Knight to f2 check. King to g2. Walking into the discovery. Knight checks. Knight takes e2. And that's it. He just drops a rook. Just like that. It's really unfortunate. Give you an idea. After knight checks, king to g1. You're down a full rook. The game is over. Tough break. Tough ending for Anishuk. He was struggling a little bit through the tournament. I think he's had better tournaments.
But this guarantees Carl Nakamura, first place and new U.S. Chess Champion 2015. Congratulations to Carl. He hasn't played in a couple of years. And Gata is the reigning U.S. Champion. You're going to see at the end of the video here the final standings, how they went. Anyway, folks, it happens to all of us. I mean, I'm a 15, 1600 USCF rated player, and I do it, and, and it just happens. Carl calls it hallucination. You have a hallucination, <laughs> and that's what happens sometimes with your mind. And I feel bad for Alexander, but that's the way it goes. Chess sometimes can be a really, really cruel game. But that wraps it up. Last round, last game of the U.S. Chess Championship 2015. I hope you liked all the videos from the tournament. Again, congratulations to Akaro. Now yeah, he's having a tough time through the middle part, but he got through. Just like I read it, they put their heads down, they just did it. And as I always say at the end of all my videos, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. And here are the final standings in the U.S. Championship 2015 being played at the beautiful St. Louis Chess Club Scholastic Center in St. Louis. My buddy Carl Nakamura, eight points, first place. Uh, interesting, though, the first four places, there's no ties. I thought it was interesting. that I don't see that very often. In second place, right behind him by half a point is Ray Robson. Wesley So with six and a half. If you remember, Wesley had to forfeit a game due to a, a rules infraction. He was warned about several times. So he still ends up with six and a half. Pretty good for forfeiting a game. Alexander Anishuk with six. Sam Sevian and Gata Kamsi. Gata's the defending U.S. champion with five and a half. Also, a Kobian. Or Sammy. I don't think he had that great of a tournament. It just was a little off this time, I think, with five points. Caden Trough with five. Conrad Holt with four and a half. Timor Garev. He's, he's a crazy player. He's fun to watch. And he's a great interview, too, with four points. And David Naroditsky, or excuse me, Daniel Naroditsky with three points. Not, not tough tournament for Daniel. Anyway, folks, there's the final standings in the U.S. Championship 2015.